Hey, how you doing, Pioneer Football League? David Patterson, Pioneer League Sports Center. Turn up, turn up. We set the tone. Yeah. Team deeper than the baritone. Uh -huh. Like we split the group up, how we down in the end zone. You already know. Uh -huh. But we don't celebrate because we've been there before. Uh -huh. Now ask Patterson if you could get up on the show. Sports Center PFL got a message for the bros. If you're an all-star, let's get it on the road. But you ain't on the team if your grade's too low. Till on the rise. Go reflection. One team. One goal. One dream. We taking it to another level. Team hitting harder than heavy metal. Can't hit for respect, ain't gon' never settle. Pioneer League, there ain't nothing better. Light it up, 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 light it up. So the Patriots and the Green Wave are now in full swing. They are every Sunday at Williamsbridge Oval at uh, well 9 o'clock a.m. for those of you that want to be leaders, 10 o'clock a.m. for those that want to be regular. So we're at 9.30 report time, but we are starting practice at 10 a.m., so make sure you're there on time. We're still taking players for our MHC Spring Classic. Uh, we also are going to check in with the Staten Island Band to see how they're doing because practice for them has uh, started as well, and they're doing an amazing job over there. So all in all, we have at this particular point between all the organizations about 130 football players. We're aiming for that 200 mark to be able to really get this thing kicked off right. So again, if you're looking to play football uh, between ages age 18 and 24, it's not a hard and steadfast rule. However, that's the target age that we're looking for. Um, so... You know, come on down and, and check it out or what have you. Pioneer! Right Life, you're going to make a whole bunch of mistakes. Don't let that be your ending point. If you make a mistake, make a mistake going 100 miles an hour. Go full speed with your heart in it. That way, if you have to reverse feel to do something different, that's what. Life is about. Life is about making mistakes, learning from it, and keeping moving. In life, in general, most people don't regret things that they do. Most people regret things that they don't do. Don't be afraid to go 100 miles an hour and make a mistake. I had a, my first big game. We were on the road playing the West Philadelphia Bengals. Very, very formidable team. If I'm going to make a mistake, it's going to be 100 miles an hour. So we ended up playing a pretty good game, ended up losing the game, what happened. Now, after the game, the only thing that I really know is what my dad taught me, what I've learned from coaches like Coach Free about, hey, look, get your team together, go 100%, just tell these guys what the message is, what have you. So I'm delivering the post-game speech, and I'm, like, really into speaking, right? And I'm like, all right, guys, we just have to, we have to execute for four quarters. You know, delivering the, the typical came up a little bit short speech. So at that particular point, and all of a sudden, there's a motorcycle going about 70 miles an hour right at the road. It's about 15 feet from the side of the field. It crash, planes shooting up 30 feet into the sky. Hey, look, fellas, we need to be focused on this thing. And behind me, there is a motorcycle that's on fire with flames shooting 30 feet in the air. It's getting speech. I'm talking to my guys. I'm like channeling this, this Lombardi and I'm looking at my guys, hey, we got finished four quarters. We have to make sure that we finish this thing. You know, next week we have a very tough opponent. I'm going on and on and on. But again, afterwards I had to laugh about it because ultimately that was not the time to give a post-game speech. But again, that's the only thing that I really knew how to do. Okay, life is full of mistakes. If you make a mistake or if you have a temporary failure, it's only temporary. It's, it's permanent. If you let it affect you, and if you let that be the ending point of quit. I graduated with a scholarship at the University of Delaware, history education major. After I graduated, I had the privilege of playing in the NFL for three years. Now I'm back home coaching. I'm teaching in school right now. I have class on Monday, so I have this book, just lesson plans. But, um, you know, Coach Fred actually talked about the importance of academics, effort, and what football teaches you as men, not just as children. You know, football is a game. We enjoy it, we love it, we try to learn the aspects of working hard, discipline, mental toughness, that's what football teaches you. So I heard a couple kids on the side talking about that learning to cameras, homework, and school. That, that's not a recipe for success. You know, you guys are out there suffering for success this year. You take pride in that. Take pride in what you do when I actually have a man has a wrong school. You know that without education, you won't get too far. So man, use football as a tool, work hard, go to school. Um, the numbers last year, especially for my team. Uh, team, you know, it was absolutely amazing. I, I had a great season, and I'm real proud of the way I committed. 
got stuck in prison from day one. Um, the older dudes, you know, that did work, I mean, it could get better, you know, but we still in it. Getting more in it, you know, their experience, and from my experience, and the coach feeds experience, and the rest of the coaches that's on part of the organization, and your commitment, you know, we're going to do some big things. Um, Father, we come this day to say thank you. We thank you for allowing us to be here today on this choice occasion. We pray now that his day will go forth in such a way that his children will be able to gather something from this, take it, and run with it. Um, at this moment, I have to introduce a new coach that will be coaching for you guys. But, uh, so the first person that reached out to me was Coach Black. And he asked me my age. I told him my age was when I was on the verge of graduating. I came here just like you guys. I didn't really know, I didn't really care too much for the sport. I'm like, I could play, I could play two months in. I, I, I could give or take. I met about 30 dudes. By the end of the summer, it was maybe 20 of us. Four coaches, 20 players. We traveled everywhere, everywhere. And David Patterson was definitely one of the coaches. Miss Patterson, she was like a mother to us. We traveled and played grown men. We were high school seniors, juniors, playing grown men. We got beat down first two years. We're gonna tell the truth, we got beat down. Next year, we made it to the chip loss. After that, we won five in a row. Five in a row. Sometimes somebody just needs somebody to talk to. Be a winner. Be a winner. Because I want to be the best. Because I want to be the best. 
to get that nod, get that nod. I'm going to work very hard. I'm going to work very hard. And when it's all over, when it's all over, and I'm in the center ring, I'm in the center ring, I hear a voice calling. I hear a voice calling. I really did my thing. I really did my thing. Cause I'm the winner. Cause I'm the winner. Pray for the guys. I'm the king. I'm the king. For my girls, I'm the queen. I knew it wasn't easy. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. easy. I knew it was my quest. I knew it was my quest. To be a winner. To be a winner. To be a buck. To be a buck. To be the best. 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 Clap it up. I'm sure my indebted appreciation. This plaque says award of excellence for outstanding community service. Presented to Tasha Harris Andrews in recognition and sincere appreciation of your distinguished service, leadership, honor, and integrity. Thank you for being a role model who displays a profound influence on the lives of those around you. Your commitment and dedication are great examples of professionalism. You are an inspiration to us all. Bronx Buccaneers, you football. Kennedy High School guys that came down, uh, you know, volunteered some some extra time, get some extra working with the guys, so they're working hard as well. So what else is going on in the Pioneer Football League? We had our conference presidents uh, meeting this weekend. Uh, it was an absolute awesome awesome meeting. Uh, we'll get you some uh, clips from that as well. Uh, Unity when it comes to youth football in the area is something that is a priority, and uh, we definitely have the best in the business, as they say. Uh, moving forward, we have four conferences, Metro Elite Conference, Inner City Conference, the Tri-State Conference, and the Legacy Conference. We'll be announcing the teams that are going to be joining those conferences. We are taking on new teams uh, right now, and we'll be just kind of releasing the names and uh, everything as we go along and uh, keep you up to date when it comes to that. So we'll, we'll definitely lock in. So, and everybody's talking about the calendar. We are definitely fall football when it comes to tackle. There are a bunch of issues that were put on the table, including uh, what to do with our 8U season, what we're doing with our high school programs and such, and how the schedule's going to uh, map out so we can get to a true league championship. Last year we did a ranking system, a poll system similar to the NCAA, what they used to do, and ended up with... Uh, I, I think pretty close to that, pretty dead on, the best teams in the area uh, being crowned as league champion. This year we want to kind of settle it on the field, so we're trying everything that we can to get a cool venue and uh, you know get everything together to have one true league champion. But now with four conferences, it makes it just that much easier. So we'll definitely uh, get that to you as soon as we have it. So all together, absolute positive uh off season so far and we haven't really gotten full swing yet so in the upcoming weeks we have March coming up and then after that uh, we'll be gearing up some previews for the uh, MHC Spring Classic uh, the teams that are stacked up for that four weeks of football a lot of uh, good stuff going on there and uh, of course we're gonna follow that April 15th date with the Green Wave as they take on the Long Island Red Devils out in Long Island so for the Pioneer Football League David Patterson signing off <laughs>